Ladies and gentlemen, live from Inkosi Albert Lituli International Convention Center, Etiquini, in province of the KwaZulu Natal in South Africa. The final draw of the Orange Africa Cup of Nations 2013 starts now. Shani, bonsoir, saubona, welcome to Durban, this majestic province of KwaZulu-Natal. For the 29th edition of the Orange Africa Cup of Nations, South Africa 2013 final draw, I am Lebo Mutswede and I'll be your host for this evening. Now the AFCON showcases the best football experience, our caliber of experienced players as well as the best Africa has to offer to the world. When we celebrate, we dance, we beat the drums, and we move our feet. Football is exactly the same way. The orange AFCON epitomizes and definitely fuses all of those elements together. South Africa, the host, is geographically located at the foot of Africa and humbles itself as the chosen one for this continental showpiece. Hence the theme of the tournament, Celebrate Africa, the beat at Africa's feet. With all 16 teams participating in the 2013 AFCON, Cape Verde, the surprise package, the islands are making their appearance for the very first time in the tournament and Zambia are defending the championship. Now everyone will be asking, will they be able to hold on to the trophy? Ethiopia, they return after 30 years of absence and they'll be hoping to emulate the team that won it just 50 years ago. While South Africa regard themselves as hospitable hosts, here is history in the making. Let's take a look at some of the highlights of Cannes 2012.
Now that was certainly a fantastic performance by the KCAP group. In fact, this young bunch of girls and boys have just come back from China where they left a piece of Africa. Now, South Africa has its many traits that render each whole city quite unique from another, from the splendor of the coastal cities that we know of to the beauty of the mountains. Now, the rainbow provinces really never cease to amaze. Let's take a look. South Africa is ready and waiting to host the Orange Africa Cup of Nations South Africa 2013, the continent's premier football showcase. Five venues which during the FIFA World Cup 2010 were acclaimed for their incredible facilities for players, spectators and match officials. Five venues scattered across South Africa with its amazing scenery and magnificent wildlife where a vibrant people enjoy world-class facilities and infrastructure, where the nightlife is as welcoming and exciting as its people. Five provinces stand ready and waiting for the games to begin. In Gauteng, the economic heartland of South Africa with its cosmopolitan atmosphere, where opportunity abounds, this where you will find the jaw-dropping Calabas style 80,000-seater soccer city in Soweto. Lapped by the warm waters of the Indian Ocean is KwaZulu Natal, the Zulu Kingdom, with its seaside playground awesome Drakensberg Mountains and World Heritage Site, in Durban is the 54,000-seater Moses Mabita Stadium. In the country's Eastern Cape Province in Port Elizabeth is the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium, a 49,000-seat venue set in the heart of a province which was the birthplace of Nelson Mandela, where ancient forests hide elusive elephants and a spectacular coastline beckons. In the Mpumalanga province is awesome scenery from the escarpment to the low felt, where names such as Blyder River Canyon, God's Window and Berg's Luck evoke images of times past. The southern gateway to the mighty Kruger National Park and in Nelspreit is the 40,000 seat Mbombela Stadium. The Royal Bafokeng Stadium in Rustenburg is the fifth venue. This 42,000-seat stadium is located in the Northwest Province, the cradle of humankind, where Homo sapiens first walked, a world heritage site where our great human journey began, and where the province's game reserves beckon visitors with their promise of big five encounters. Five provinces Five wonderful stadiums to welcome soccer teams where the skills of the best that the continent has to offer will be on show. Watched by a people who are mad about football. And where Africa's greatest tournament, the Orange Africa Cup of Nations, South Africa 2013 will reach its climax. I'm pretty sure that you guys at home also can see that Africa is certainly calling. And here to kickstart the proceedings, please welcome on stage South Africa 2013 LOC Chairman Chief Muelo Nongkonyana. Your Excellency, President of the Republic, Mr. Jacob Zuma. The members of the Executive Committee of CAF, led by our President, Dr. Issa Hayato, Your Majesty King Zolitini, and, African, and members of the African royalty, the President of SAFA, Mr. Kerstin Nematandani, and Presidents of Sister Federations here present, and your delegations, the members of the board, 
and uh, members of the diplomatic corps, distinguished guests, including of our commercial partners, fellow Africans, and members of football family. I greet you all this evening, Bonsoir. South Africa has been afforded the opportunity to once again host the Orange African Cup of Nations 2013 on behalf of CAF, an opportunity that we as the local organizing committee hold in high esteem. We know the responsibility that comes with hosting a tournament of this magnitude, and we want to give an assurance to CAF and the participating member associations, including our country as well as all Africans, that we will not let them down. We have already been put to test by FIFA when we, hold the, when we held the 2010 FIFA World Cup and we rose to the occasion. Thanks once more to all those who were involved under the leadership of what FIFA President Seplata referred to as three musketeers, Drs. Ivan Koza, Molefi Oliphant, and Denny Jordan. They are part of the local organizing committee, and we are also inspired by our young and energetic minister, Honorable Fikile Mbalola. We should not forget that we are now free, and time for all of us as free countries and the continent, we must not serve colonial masters. That time has passed. We are now proud members of the civilized world, inferior to nobody. In this context, we must play our part to raise the standard of both the administration and the, and the standard of football in our transformation agenda. Tonight, 16 country teams have descended on this great city of Durban in the province of KwaZulu-Natal with one end goal in mind, that is, to be crowned champions of the 29th edition of Orange African Cup of Nations in South Africa. We congratulate you for having qualified to participate to this special edition of AFCON, as we want to thank and celebrate African football. The mega stars and legends of Africa football will emerge and will adore our football hall of fame. And those who were promoted by us and disclaimed us in favor of serving their selfish interests at the expense of national and continental interest must be warned not to lead us to temptation to put them in a hole of, of shame. We look forward to dazzling, sizzling, and entertaining African Cup of Nations 2013. Best wishing to all. Orison Sweet Madden, an African spiritual author in, in the book The New Thought Movement, who lived in the, between 1850 and 1924, once said, and I quote, our destiny changes with our thought. We shall become what we wish to become. Do what we wish to do when our habitual thought corresponds with our desire, end quote. I chose this quote just to remind us that this premier football tournament on African soil can become whatever we wish it to become. If our thoughts, deeds, and desire are unanimous and aligned to our one and objective of making African football an instrument for socio economic development and political stability, football would have won uh, without firing a single bullet. Therefore, if our destiny and thoughts are aligned, we can be assured of a continent that thrives on unity of its people, only separated by historical boundaries, but joined to, to, to the hip by the ties that bind us our Africanness. So, as the 16 nations gathered here tonight for the final draw, we wish uh, to ensure the African football that uh, we use football as a tool to uproot our people from the cycle of poverty, wars, uh, preventable diseases. We must always find space in the name of football to promote peace in Africa. This is what Chief Albert Lutuli, which this building is named after, who have urged us to do. After all, he was the first African and the first person from outside Europe and America to be awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1960. 
We can assure you that when you go home to prepare for this tournament and come ready to fight the coveted trophy, you will find the local organizing committee ready to deliver a seamless and high-quality tournament that this country and the continent has become accustomed to. Our plans are complete and we are ready to host this tournament. We have put in place plans around team transport, training venues, team hotels, including team security and escort mechanisms. Spectator, spectator experience that will ensure that every single stadium has an offering that is unique to that seat and yet positions African football as the greatest. We will be deploying media operation centers at each and every stadium, a security and health plan, as well as the hospitality plan for all our commercial partners, etc. We hope that Libyans, who were originally scheduled to host this event, will cease its hostilities and start rebuilding and reconstructing their country as we want to be there in 2017. The theme of this tournament is Celebrate Africa, the beat at African's feet. Let's come and be one. Let's meet in the cities of Johannesburg, Deben, Mombela, Nelson Mandela, and Rustenburg to dance and share our various cultures, to enjoy and to be entertained by our players as their lyrics and dance their feet in the football pitch. Let us beat the drums and beacon Africa to come and celebrate the biggest event in the African continent. Ferez SOS Africa's members de la Family do football, Venez and Africa do suit in 2013. Vos Rejo do football Africa. Merci Bugo. Thank you, Program Director. May I invite our Doyen, my president, our president of the African football, Dr. Issa Hartu, the president of CAF, to address us. My president, Dr. Issa Hartu, the Africa est doubt a voice. Monsieur le Président de la République sud-africaine, Son Excellence Monsieur Jacob Zuma, Sa Majesté le Roi Suezi Ting, Mesdames et Messieurs les membres du gouvernement, Monsieur le, le maire de la ville de Durban, Monsieur le Président du comité local d'organisation de la Cannes 2013, Monsieur le Président de la SAFA, Monsieur les membres du comité exécutif de la CAF, Monsieur et Madame les représentants des équipes qualifiées à la Cannes 2013, Monsieur et Madame les représentants des corps diplomatiques et consulaires et des institutions internationales, Mesdames et Messieurs, chers frères et amis du football, 17 ans après, la première, après le premier pas de l'Afrique du Sud dans la Coupe d'Afrique des Nations, la CAP plante à nouveau son chapiteau dans un pays qui occupe une place particulière dans le cœur de toute la famille du football africain. Quand nous consultons nos archives, nous ne pouvons pas oublier que ce pays fut aux côtés de l'Égypte, de l'Éthiopie et du Soudan, un des quatre membres fondateurs de notre Confédération. Ici, si vous m'autorisez, nous nous sentons chez nous et nous restons encore sous le baissement d'une Coupe du Monde à nul autre pareil. Autant dire qu'en vous confiant l'organisation de notre 29e Cannes, nous savions d'avance que nous viendrons au mois de janvier 2013 en totale confiance. Des stades magnifiques, une grande compétence organisationnelle publique qui aime le football et dont nous ne doutons pas qu'il viendra en grand nombre au match qui démarre de plus. Sur le terrain, les meilleurs de nos équipes en Afrique 
rivaliseront pour la succession de la Zambie. À l'exception de deux anciens vainqueurs, l'Égypte et le Cameroun, absents chacun pour la deuxième fois consécutivement, l'élite continentale sera présente et personne ne sait qui l'emportera. Nous saluons tous les le grands retours de l'Éthiopie qu'on n'avait plus revu au sommet depuis 31 ans, au moins autant que l'événement du Cap Vert, 38e nation, à prendre part à une phase finale depuis la création de la plus prestigieuse de nos épreuves en 1957. Nos îles ont parfois le sentiment d'être en dehors du mouvement sportif africain. Nous avons organisé nos compétitions à Maurice, aux Seychelles et en Guinée équatoriale. Voici venu le temps du Cap Vert. Il a surpris lors des éliminatoires et il n'a peut-être pas fini de surprendre encore. De la même manière, nous encourageons les 15 autres équipes à produire le meilleur de ce qu'elles savent faire. Tous les continents suivront, comme ils en ont pris l'habitude de le faire depuis de nombreuses années. Cette canne, un des grands rendez-vous du football international après la Coupe du Monde et l'Euro, elles seront une fois encore, sans aucun doute, l'ambassadeur de notre savoir-faire en la matière. À cet effet, je ne saurais trop les encourager à respecter les règles du fair play. Beau jeu et bel esprit vont de pair, que les uns et les autres ne l'oublient pas. Je voudrais à l'occasion du tirage au sort rappeler qu'une fois de plus, nous avons souhaité associer un certain nombre d'organisations non gouvernementales, celles qui œuvrent en faveur de la paix, de la santé, celles qui cherchent à améliorer dans, dans bien des secteurs de la vie des populations africaines qui souffrent plus. C'est à la fois notre devoir et notre vocation. Le football n'a pas le droit de vivre dans sa bulle et d'être absent de toutes les campagnes. Excellences, Messieurs le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs, au nom du comité exécutif de la CAF et à mon nom personnel, je saisis cette opportunité solennelle pour adresser nos sincères félicitations au comité local d'organisation et à la Fédération sud-africaine de football qui ont tout mis en œuvre en parfait accord avec les plus hautes autorités pour faire de la Cannes 2013 un très grand et véritable succès. Il me revient à présent de saluer avec déférence ce grand et magnifique pays, l'Afrique du Sud, la République sud-africaine, et, et de témoigner respectivement notre totale reconnaissance à son illustre président, son Excellence, M. Jacob Zuma, pour de nombreux et immenses services qu'il rend à la jeunesse du continent et particulièrement au football africain. Tout est là, tout est fait. Les infrastructures sportives, hôtelières, les communications et de santé, le transport, l'hospitalité et l'amitié africaine, l'amour du football avait une, un public très sportif et surtout de grandes volontés politiques des autorités de ces pays pour que la Cannes 2013 soit la plus belle fête de notre continent. Encore une fois, grand merci, Monsieur le Président, et bravo à l'Afrique du Sud qui, en un temps record, a pris et réussi l'organisation de cette CAN dont nous vivions avec fierté la cérémonie du tirage au sort. Pour terminer, je souhaite une totale réussite aux organisateurs, nos amis et frères sud-africains et naturellement à nos 16 équipes qualifiées. Maintenant, je vais céder le micro au secrétaire général de la CAF, M. Hicham, maître d'œuvre de la présente cérémonie du tirage au sort. C'est le moment que toute l'Afrique et le monde entier attendent. Je vous remercie. Merci, Monsieur Hayato. 
Thank you, Mr. President. Now, the Confederation of African Football, as a socially responsible organization, has over the years proved that football has the power to really change how societies act as well as think. During the Orange Africa Cup of Nations, South Africa 2013 will be promoting four specific causes. The first is the promotion of education with the one goal, and that will be to help secure education for 75 million children all across our continent. The second will be the fight against malaria with the United Against Malaria entity. Third, together with the UN AIDS, they will aid in the prevention of HIV and AIDS. And finally, it is that of Make Peace Campaign with the African Union. Let's have a look at the glimpse of the peace campaign. The Confederation of African Football partners with the African Union to promote peace through sport. Football is a powerful unifying game. Through the beautiful game, children, women and men share a common language and a spirit of fair play that transcends the divisions and despair born out of conflict and rebuilds broken societies, nurtures positive attitudes among the youth and encourages healthy competition. The African Union is stepping up its Make Peace Happen campaign for a peaceful, prosperous and united Africa. African peace ambassadors, including famous African football legends, carry forward the message of peace throughout the continent. Ordinary women and men have a role to play in making peace happen. Individually and collectively, we all stand to gain from peace. Since the launch of the Make Peace Happen campaign in 2010, the Confederation of African Football has worked hand in hand with the African Union to carry forward the message of peace and solidarity. Africa helping Africa. What about you? What will you do to make peace happen? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Thank you to Mafiki Zolo for obviously giving us that beautiful taste of African music. Now the next speaker is the son of the soil, a footballer par excellence in his own right, who is richly laden in a handwoven fabric of tradition and cultural heritage. He's an ardent football encyclopedia who, trust me, can put plenty of you analysts at home to shame, whose smile and demeanor is always as warm as the African sunrise. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome His Excellency, the President of the Republic of South Africa, Mr. Jacob Zuma. Thank you, thank you very much. Master of Ceremonies, Isilo Samabanza, Sangalum Sabat, the Premier of KwaZulu Natal, Dr. Zuelim Kize, the Minister of Sports and Recreation, Mr. Figil Mbalula, and all ministers and deputy ministers present here. CAF President, Mr. Issa Hoyato, members of parliament and members of the legislature, the president of the South African Football Association, Mr. Nematandani, and all leadership of local football present here. LOC Chief Executive and members of the LOC Board. The Diplomatic Corps, religious leaders and traditional leaders, Soccer Fraternity, fellow South Africans. Good evening to you all. It is an honor for me, on behalf of the government and the people of South Africa, to join this special African moment of the final draw of the 2013 Orange Africa Cup of Nations. With great excitement, we are continuing and counting down the last 86 days before 
South Africa hosts the 29th edition of Africa's biggest soccer festival for the second time. We are humbled by the trust that CAF has once again placed on South Africa and our people to host this important football event. The 2013 tournament takes on special meaning as we will be celebrating the 50th anniversary of the African Union under the theme, The Year of Pan-Africanism and African Renaissance. 50 years ago, the Organization of African Unity was founded with the cardinal objective of promoting the unity, solidarity, and cooperation of African states to achieve a better life for the peoples of Africa. Fifty years on, the OAU successor, the African Union, is bringing African nations and multiple generations of Africans together to raise Africa's profile on the global stage. This event will certainly offer a unique opportunity to pay special tribute to the generation of Pan-Africanists who set the continent on its path to liberation. It will also bring our nations together as envisaged by the AU's founding fathers 50 years ago. Each match will be a demonstration that sport, particularly football, can be a catalyst for social change, peace and unity in the African continent. For this reason, the AU's long-term aim is to promote football as a continent-wide and integrative sport. It is also to use football to support the Make It Happen campaign, which is aimed at securing long-lasting peace and stability in the African continent. Fellow Africans, the government and the people of South Africa are fully prepared and ready for the tournament. Our government fully supports the African Football Association and the local organizing committee who have made the necessary guarantees to CAF to stage what we plan to be another successful sporting event after the 2010 FIFA Soccer World Cup. In 2013, the world's eyes will once again be on us as 16 of the finest African football nations compete for the greatest honor of being the champions of the continent in the beautiful game of football. We congratulate all national teams that have qualified. We look forward to exciting games, lots of goals, fair play, 
and tons of fun for soccer lovers in the country, in the continent. We extend special congratulations to the Cape Verde national team, which has qualified for the first time. This will also be a special occasion for South Africa as we make a return after a four-year absence from the tournament. In addition, South Africa has a proud track record of hosting wonderful sporting events. The 2013 Orange Africa Cup of Nations will be a timely reflection on the legacy of the 2010 FIFA Soccer World Cup, which we hosted successfully with the support of the African continent. Tonight, we come together to collectively celebrate this key milestone. As we begin this final draw, I will be keeping my fingers crossed for our national team, Bafana Bafana. I hereby wish all national teams the very best of luck in the draw and in the 2013 Orange Africa Cup of Nations. We are eagerly looking forward to host this festival of African football next year. I wish you all an enjoyable evening. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup.